Hi, my name is John Coppola. I'm the head of key account development for BrainCube North America, and I've been with BrainCube for over six years now. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how manufacturers can turn data into a competitive advantage. But first, a little bit about BrainCube as a company. We've been in existence for over a decade now, developing applications specifically for manufacturers, and our organization's overall core belief is that any industrial can become highly competitive with the right platform with capabilities to collect, transform, and consume all of your production data in one environment. And at BrainCube, we focus on delivering this world-class solution to enable delivery of the right information at the right time to ensure the consumption of this information makes a difference in how your organization approaches data democratization to achieve overall business goals. Now, this is a little bit of a market overview. Our, our solution really isn't limited to a scope in your plants or to a vertical in the market. We serve an array of organizations, both large and small. And in the U.S., our current footprint covers building materials, paper and pulp, chemical, elastomer, automotive, food and bev, CPG, and many others. What we provide on our platform is flexibility from a product offering standpoint. So we understand that organizations have different data connectivity and usage levels. And that's why we try to cater our offers to your exact business objectives around higher levels of data utilization, regardless of where you are. And we'll see this further in the presentation. The BrainCube optimization platform is where we'll first focus. The, the, the optimization platform itself is integrated directly into your organization's standard information architecture. The platform utilizes pre-built connectors to connect to relevant IT, OT, and any external systems that you have. Really, the focus is taking data that you believe is relevant to your production. Thereafter, we warehouse this data to allow for one central point of access for use. This is the first step to democratization, and you may already have a data lake in your organization, but what we do next with the data is actually most important. After we have all the relevant data, our internal SMEs work with your plant SMEs to understand how you want digital twins built. And our digital twin isn't focused on building an exact replica of your asset or assets, but more focused on following the flow of materials through the process, aligning the material flow with the exact set point of all of your inputs and directly linking those input set points to a specific output characteristic. We consider lag calculations that need to be taken into account, as you may have material which has residency time in a vessel before moving on in the process, or you may just have an intermittent production process which affects how you link data overall from process to process. Either way, our digital twin is the first step in automating the transformation of data for your team so that they, they can focus on applying information to actual use cases that you have on a day-to-day -day basis. From a, lot, a thought leadership perspective, uh, manufacturers overall are realizing the key to their competitive advantage is the strategic use of the data overall. But the use of the right data is where industrials tend to fall short. We strategically work with manufacturers to collect the right data, and we develop digital twins, as I stated prior, that align towards the processes they want to improve. We build optimization applications based on commonality of use case that we've seen in an array of verticals within industry. Now, let's take a look how we apply the data thereafter, and we'll, then we'll focus on some real-life use cases later. The first application that we provide on top of the digital twin is our comparator application. You typically would see this application used when you hear pain points such as the overall performance or quality is different today than it was yesterday, but I didn't make any changes to, the, to my production line or my production standards. A second thing we will typically hear is I have two pieces of equipment that produce the same part and I'd like to understand overall why the results are totally different. So the comparator application utilizes the historical digital twin data. And it, first, you must define the reference population that you want to focus on, and then a study population, and build criteria within each of those, all of which is done very easily inside of BrainCube. 
Thereafter, you can align popu uh, each population to understand what inputs in the populations differ and why. When you've identified this, you have factual evidence of the differences. The overall customer value is that the elimination of data prep allows for the end user to quickly understand differences in production between multiple uh, or the same line with the structured data sets. One of the key applications that we bring to the table as well is the, the advanced analytics application. And typical pain points that we're going to hear from a customer is, I have thousands of variables in my process, but I can't know for sure which one is involved in the production process, which or which one will be relevant for my analysis overall. So what the advanced analytics application is actually doing is utilizing both cold and hot digital twin data to identify inputs in your process that have the highest level of impact on a specific output that you're trying, that you're trying to optimize. Once these critical inputs have been identified, you can drill down and to understand if there is an optimal range within the critical input that is the best range to maintain overall based on how you've produced historically. And when the SMEs have actually completed this work, they can take the variables that they've defined, that they've defined and work with them inside of the BrainCube test module, not only to understand, is there a correlation between these variables, but is there a positive enough interaction between these multi-sets of variables when they're set in the specific ranges that accounts for some sort of optimization to our output? To close the analytics loop, we offer the live application as well. This application will live in the operating room or on the shop floor. Typical customer pain points that we hear from time to time is, my operators don't know if they're complying with the standards uh, that have been set by the SMEs and by management, or they don't have an easy way to deploy uh, findings from analysis to the ops team overall so that they can realize the benefits from the work that they've done in a study. So the live interface um, is where the analytical findings meet the actual monetary and performance value that you want from all the studies that you've run. It's the last step in the analytical loop and it's very easy to understand. We set ranges based on the study that the operators understand. When I've maintained 50 to 70, I'm compliant with the standards that have been set. When I'm starting to drift, I'm still compliant but when I've now hit the red, I'm no longer compliant and I need to make an adjustment to this critical input in the process. The last application that we offer from, offer from an optimization standpoint is the performance report application. This is a great management tool, both from an operations manager perspective and plant management perspective. When you set specific rules that you want complied on the, on the production floor, you're going to want to make sure that you have a decent compliance rate from the operations team. And what this application provides is that visibility so that you don't constantly have to run down to the shop floor to understand why is my second shift not complying with this critical input? Why are they adjusting continuously? So you'll have that insight all the time ready to be used. Now let's move into some use cases of how some of the digital twin and the applications have been used by organizations, both small and large. This store is pretty impressive by the numbers. A steel manufacturer had actually set out on a journey to optimize the, the casting portion of their process by a certain percentage. And they were data rich, but only had manual ways to prep the data, run an analysis, which had been uh, ineffective historically due to the limitation of the inputs the engineering team was able to add into their analysis tool that they had access to at the time. And with the steel market, specifically in the US, uh, on an uptick at this point in time, they, they, they needed an efficient way to augment their plant teams while also reducing the variability in the casting section, which is the main focus. So the group solicited BrainCube uh, to help in two ways, give full traceability in the process with the digital twin build, and then to provide an easy to use advanced analytics tool to identify optimal ranges of multi multiple set, uh, set inputs that contribute to the casting variability. So once BrainCube was installed, 
We were quickly able, uh, the, the engineers were quickly able to identify the key contributors to their variability, and they ident identified optimal ranges of the inputs that needed to be maintained overall. The overall identification of these critical ranges accounted for a seven-figure savings and a total change in how their organization approaches analytics from a holistic standpoint. Not all of our customers, though, set out with hard numbers in mind. Uh, we work with a paper manufacturer that has been working, actually working with us since 2016, where they completed their first demonstrator and currently they're in the middle of a global rollout of BrainCube. Um, it's being used in three different countries right now, and they're currently using a hybrid edge and cloud deployment of BrainCube where they rely on our IoT server, which is a piece of software to collect data from many different sources that I had alluded to earlier on in the conversation. But what's interesting about what this global paper company did is that they're, they're the first customer to build digital twins from their edge data with their own teams, thanks to BrainCube Digital Twin Builder. They have 100 digital, twin, 100 digital twins operational as of today, and they see the platform as a key infrastructure tool for the future. Last case study is with a building material, an American building material manufacturer um, that started the ideation of their digital journey uh, and execute on its defined vision in early 2020. Uh, with the help of vendors uh, as well as some internal resources that they brought to the table. And the goal for the building material company was simple. They wanted to create a single user interface experience that pulls together data from multiple sources into a consolidated system, which is capable of advanced analytics and identification of business insights. So the BrainCube optimization platform and spe uh, specific components of that platform was uh, selected as their vendor for this endeavor. And the highlights of the platform integration were consolidation of workspaces into one dashboard for the entire plant, more efficient tracking of KPIs, both plant and corporate personas taking account of this. Uh, and, and, and overall, the pilot worked in three phases at three different facilities, which was deemed a success by the company's executives. And currently, BrainCube and this building materials company are co-building a rollout plant for all 20, 24 of their facilities with a completion date in late 2022. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to review the BrainCube plant optimization offer with me today. Our, our core belief here is that any industrial large and small, can become highly competitive in a sustainable and, and overall kind of scalable manner with the right data transformation solution and the right consumption tools. Thanks again.